Hello, it has been a very long time since I have recorded a video or any of that. I mean, apart from like TikToks to promote my poetry book, um, I have not recorded a video in the longest time. And and honestly, I feel like it has been far too long since I have done so, which is the case. Um, the last time I recorded a video, I believe, was in August. I haven't recorded one in a while or even, like, thought about YouTube too much since then. So I figured I'd come back and, you know, start talking again. Um, about what? I'm not sure, but I figured, you know, why not just, you know, let let the let the vibe uh, take me, you know, see where I go with the, the whole conversation. So, welcome to episode one of episode one of random conversations with me. Um, so yeah, let's let's get right into it. Okay, so let's talk a bit about why I have not been recording videos. I kind of lost the spark for it along with many of my other hobbies or things that I uh, that I really wanted to do. I kind of just lost the spark from them after a while because I really didn't know where I was going or which direction I should go with my channel or my channels. I have multiple. So I kind of fell into a block, you know, uh, block, and I got discouraged by likes and, um, I'm sorry, thumbs up and, like, subscribes or views when I know very well I shouldn't be paying attention to the numbers. Along with the fact that, as I said, I kind of lost the joy for recording videos, um, and it happens like that sometimes. Sometimes you lose like a spark for your choice of your your outlet because um, you maybe don't feel like it's being appreciated enough, or you maybe feel like you aren't doing it well enough, or no one's enjoying the content. But in reality, you should sort of be making it with you in mind. And what I mean by that is that when you go and you record a video, you don't want to only record what you think other people would like because, you know, it, it, start, it stops being fun after a while. Like, I know many people like watching videos on cooking. Some people like videos on cooking. I don't really enjoy cooking, so I wouldn't go out of my way to make videos about cooking, you know. Um, but writing, you know, if I, I really like talking about writing and I'm a an author so I figured like and I'm an author so it's kind of like you know why not talk about something that I love so when you really create your content or when you start doing things for you you know you have to create with you in mind I feel like I have this video on my channel that already talks about that um but yeah I do I might link it in the description below if you're interested and you want to go check that out. But a lot of times, you, anyone can get discouraged when they see, oh, this one only got five likes, or this one only got like this many likes, or this one has like a zillion likes. And sometimes people want to recreate the success that they've had with a video that has gone viral, or a book that has you know just something that really was received well by the people and i'm guilty of that too i've tried to recreate um some of my videos which had a lot of views but i had no success doing so and so it was kind of at this point where i was like can i even do it should i even keep going and that kind of put me into a a, a, a hole of some sort um just it's a it was a bad it's a bad feeling overall you know so yeah um really uh the basics the the to be successful 
or I'm sorry, to find joy in your craft or your choice of like expressive outlet, you you need to remember that the likes, views, subscribers, followers, and all that stuff are not everything because honestly, they're just they're just there, you know. And I can assure you that those who um, I can assure you that when it comes down to those things, they're they're all just they they don't really matter. They're just statistical. It's like it's just like, hey, this person saw the video and liked the video. That doesn't mean that someone else didn't see the video and like the video, you know? It doesn't mean that someone physically was like, hey, yeah, let me just put a heart here, you know? Why not, right? It's important to keep creating things that you want to keep creating because if you start to create things that other people want you to create, um, creation may become less enticing to you, you know? You might not enjoy it as much. Or, you know, you might think that maybe this isn't for me. And I've been down that road um, myself. When it came to writing, I was kind of like... Actually, writing has been a complicated topic for me for a while. Um, so it's kind of like, when I go to write, I try to write content. I try to write things that I would like to read. Some things that I would like to see. Because in reality, I'm writing. It's coming from me. If I start to write... Imagine someone who is passionate about astronomy or astronomy. Is it astrology? Astronomy, astrology, they're two different things, but either or. Um, imagine someone who's passionate in that, you know, sees that, you know, maybe knitting is popular. They don't like knitting, but, you know, why not create content on knitting? You know what I mean? Like, why not do that? It kind of defeats the purpose. Like, you love this, so why not do this? But you want to go do something else because you see it's more popular. That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. I mean, honestly, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. Because you you start to lose that joy that comes with creating when you um, when your mindset is like that. Like, I'm never gonna write... I'm never gonna... I'm probably not say that because I change my genre so much. I'm probably never gonna write a horror book because I personally am not a big fan of horror. Um... And it's not something I think I would enjoy writing. Mystery? Sure. Fantasy? Sure. Fiction? Sure. Nonfiction? Yeah. But horror is... Okay, I realize fiction has multiple categories, but... Horror is not my niche. It's it's not my... Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But it's not my choice in writing. I don't enjoy it too much. I feel as though maybe it's not where I'm meant to be so I don't do it because just because it's popular you know you could write a horror book and people could be like oh wow it's a horror book and reading it and it's terrible and then you got because you decided you wanted to go with something that you're not familiar with it's, it's kind of they kind of would be like oh this is a terrible book never read anything from ever ever again but that's not to say that you can't grow to enjoy something like if i decided i wanted to write a horror book i feel like it'd be necessary for me to maybe watch some more horror movies you know read some horror books of my own and then try and tackle it and see if it's something that i could be good at because you don't want to do something and not be good at it you want to do something that you're good at and you want to do something that you enjoy and if you want to do something that makes money make sure you do something that you love at the same time and if what you love makes money then i mean that's a bonus that's that's a real bonus right there so yeah, um, so really focus in on things that you are going to enjoy and that you can continuously do because once, because once people start to enjoy your content or see that, hey, this person makes content that I like and you're doing what you love or you doing like whatever they like a lot, you got to make sure that you can continue giving that content out you know because once you start giving out a certain amount of content they're gonna expect it and if you change it up you might lose support some may stay but you may lose but yeah so really focus in on something that you would enjoy or that you enjoy doing and that goes for literally everything if you can find something you love and you can find money and something you love like a job that involves that go for it because 
that means if you love something, it means it's never going to feel like work to you. And who wants work to feel like work? Someone, you want to do things that you really enjoy. Like, come on, like it's, it's, why not do something that you enjoy and you can make money off of it? Imagine if you could, I mean, I'm, there's opportunities out there, but you love watching TV, you can make money watching TV. You're going to want to do that, right? Exactly. So why are you going to restrict yourself from everything else? Like, oh, I can't do this, like, you know, I love drawing, but I can't draw as a thing. There are tons of jobs that involve drawing that you can do to make money. So really, there's no excuse, honestly. If you really love something, go and find something that you can make money with with that something. Like, like, come on. It's really, it's it's a lot simpler than most people think, you know. Um, most people are just like, oh yeah, this job pays a lot, so I'm gonna work there. But then they come home every day and they hate their life because they hate their job. And they have to wake up every day to go to the same job that they hate. Like, every, anyone can be miserable like that. Anybody. Like, even anybody can be miserable like that. Like, no one wants to wake up and go to a job that they absolutely hate every single day. For example, it was a setback. I was working this job and at first it was like, okay, wow, this is pretty decent, okay? But then I would have a shift and then I'd work late night and then I'd have to wake up early the next morning and go in again. And I started to be like, you know, I hate this. I don't wanna have to do this. Let me call out, I'm not gonna do this. And I quit that job because why am I gonna waste my early, te my early adult years doing something I hate? I need to find a way to make money doing something I love and I'm starting to work on that like I'm starting to try and figure out opportunities for myself so that I can be successful you know and I could still do what I love now it's not saying don't have a backup plan or don't just avoid everything you hate to just do what you love make sure you're able to support yourself with something you love because mostly most times what we love doesn't pay enough so you have to be able to support yourself with the money that with the money from you know something else um so you have to have a plan b you have to have multiple plans you have to have multiple paths you have to have multiple ways that you can't just have one thing yes it sometimes it's like hey you have this one thing and you work towards that one thing but sometimes that one thing does not turn out to be the way it is. For example, I have seen kids who would be like, I wanna be a basketball player when I grow up, you know? And everyone knows that that's like difficult, you know, sometimes it's difficult to get to that point, but they wanna put all their eggs in one basket, as one would say. And they wanna say, this is what I'm doing, you know, this is what I'm gonna do. But if it doesn't work, you have to have a backup plan, you know? This is why it's important to have a lot of hobbies or a lot of things that you love or really be um okay. okay so i literally don't remember the word for it um and frankly i'm not sure where i'm going with this conversation but all in all um yeah just definitely like don't do something you hate just because it makes a lot of money yeah so i guess that was where the conversation was meant to go or the video was meant to go so that's that's what we're sticking with you know um that is what we are sticking with uh but yeah so yeah all right so that was all for this little video here um if you enjoyed it be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more content or little chats like this definitely subscribe to my channel and check out the other channels i have in the description below as well as some of the other social medias that i have under that little link tree thing um and definitely go check out my books um the first cabin the wind whistles all the children's book i've made with sisters so definitely go check that out check that out um and yeah i will see you guys next time bye